Hello everyone, I'm Vijaya from Vijaya Academics. Uh, today, uh, I'll be going to discuss the new topic, uh, which is HOL. The full form HOL is Hubs of Learning. Now, we are going to see in detail about HOL. Transforming Education Collectively. Now see, what is there? Connect, collaborate, share, learn, evolve, grow. Okay. Hubs of learning, that is HOL. Now let us see what is there. Hubs of learning notified with circular number 12, dated March 9, 2019. Part of the policy at the board to share, cooperate, and learn from each other by forming a small cluster of schools into hubs of learning for collaboration among schools for quality enhancement. Now let us see what is the concept of HOL. The purpose is to collaborate and improve educational objectives, student outcomes, learning outcomes, curriculum enrichment, and growth through a shared vision of stakeholders. Now, let us see what is there in nutshell. The CBSC hub of learning, the collective efforts towards quality. Now see, in the center CBSC is there, evolve collectively, okay, then KV, JNV, uh, private, uh, independent schools, government schools, CTSC, okay, then Need for hubs of learning. Why people they think uh, that uh, there is a need of hubs of learning. Let us see what is that. Develop self-directed students aware of their potential. Create educational leadership that collaborates at all levels. Develop student outcomes. Encourage professional development among teachers. Bring together expertise for improvement of all stakeholders. Experiential and joyful learning. Mobilize teachers, parents, students, and other community partners. Create inquiry-based learning with sharing of data and research. Embed practices into school communities for accelerating improvement. Hubs of learning, working practices, sharing information and expertise in curriculum transition, in creation of new knowledge and designing novel pedagogical strategies. Augmenting capacities through sharing resources, digital collaboration and cooperating in imparting skills. Promoting professional development via teacher exchange, joint seminars and workshops and instructionals. Forging partnerships to give and receive support and engage in professional learning that facilitates systematic changes. Hubs of learning should not become an administrative meeting of group of people with similar titles and strategies who focus on individual problem solving, seek passive professional development or want a center for providing information. Instead, see performance management. Improve, align, measure, monitor, follow up, strategy, plan, approach to hubs of learning. Now, what kind of approach is there? If you will see, it starts with ethics, fairness, acceptance, diversity, and accountability. Objectives of hubs. The linking of schools into hubs of learning would provide a common and shared platform with the objective too. Now, what is the first objective? The first objective is to create a culture of support and healthy 
interdependence across different areas of teaching, learning, curriculum planning, teaching learning activities, and other school practices. Second, promote solidarity by facilitating joint conduct of various student staff activities, culminating in an enriched school life. Objectives of learning four, enable sharing of resources, manpower, infrastructure, teaching, learning material, etc. Provide an opportunity to share a reporter of ideas, instructional and assessment strategies, which would help individual teachers to improve classroom practices and contribute to their continuous professional development. Now, let us see what are the aims of hubs of learning. To create an ecosystem for the school to effectively take up all round self-improvement, exposure to best practices, adaptation, or even a replication of these practices. Be givers as well as receivers of support, fresh ideas and resources, greater responsibility towards improving the quality of their school, and also extend your support to nearby school. Now, what kind of structure of a hub is there? School one, school two, school three, school four, school five, and lead collaborator, okay? Lead collaborator. The lead collaborator school shall get all the schools of its HOL on board. The school initially named as lead collaborator school by the board shall function as much as such for a maximum period of two years. That means lead collaboration uh, school, collaborator school has given maximum period of two years. Thereafter, the HOL schools after mutual discussion may nominate any other school from within the group to act as a lead collaborator school on rotation basis. If mutually agreeable, they can also nominate the same school as lead collaborator school again. The lead collaborator school in collaboration with the member of schools shall take up all mentioned activities, but at their own pace, depending on their capacity and ability. The lead collaborator schools must also provide hand-holding support to all schools in its hub to ensure the implementation of safety guidelines as laid down in CBSC affiliation bylaws. Areas of activities to be taken by hubs. Academic collaboration, resource sharing, professional development of teachers, building community, overcoming isolation, systematic reforms. Now, what are the activities are there? First one is academic, in academic activities. What is there? Learn about CWSN, plan and implement new pedagogies, take up joint activities, example, art exhibition, co-plan curriculum, share expertise, information. All these activities come under academic activities. Next is annual pedagogical plans, curriculum plans and transition strategies, learning outcomes, innovative pedagogies, co-planning of curriculum, co-teaching, quizzes, project, demonstration, art exhibition, educational and school-related needs of children with special needs joint reflection culminating in creation of new knowledge and design. Now, next is example of co-scholastic. In the co-scholastic, it has been given life skills, social skills, thinking skills, emotional skills, attitudes and values, performing arts and clubs, indoor and outdoor sports, literary and creative skills, scientific skills, creative and aesthetic skills, co-scholastic domains, encourage experimentation and creativity, build on aptitudes, interest and capacities. 
develop positive attitudes like team building, create non-threatening, joyous, and multi-sensory environment. Enable students with the difficulties to interact with others. Schools must build a wide-ranging co-scholastic curriculum to enable students acquire skills and processes specified in the relevant co-scholastic domain. Promoting sports education. Sports ensures a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and adaptation of a healthy lifestyle. Promoting art education. Art challenges the learners with different points of view, compelling her to empathize with others. Art participation is related to behaviors that contribute to increased civic engagement, greater social tolerance, enhance acceptance of differences. Activity two, resource sharing. In the resource sharing, collaborate in teaching and learning skill courses, skills administrative and organizational, manpower, infrastructure, digital resources. Augment each other's organizational and the administrative skills. Share exchange resources, manpower, infrastructure, etc. Digital collaboration share e-content and other digital resources. Collaborate in teaching and learning skill courses. Enable res enabling resources. Well lit and ventilated classroom with scope for collaborative and group work. Playground, lawns, open spaces, MPR auditorium are adapted and frequently used. Laboratories that are equipped with a variety of resources. Sufficient space and equipment for encouraging all levels of learners to engage with sports and games. Instructional material designed and developed by the school teachers from available sources. Availability of extensive good quality text and digital resources in the library for students and teachers. Third activity is professional development of teachers. How? Joint in service training program, joint workshops, seminars, teacher exchange, etc. Professional development of staff and teachers. Please also refer circular number academic 13 March 9, 2019. Support each other in professional development by exchanging or participating in each other's in-service training programs and sharing information related to this. Training of all school teachers has been made mandatory in affiliation by laws 2018 by providing for minimum number of days of training per year. Training is to be conducted preferably in association with COEs of the board or through the teachers training institute recognized by center, UT, state, regional teachers, training institutions. Promote academic enrichment through teacher exchange programs, common science fairs, joint seminars, workshops, trainings, exchange of ideas, instructional strategies and assessment procedure. May be noted that board shall not be funding the HOLs in any form. Overcoming isolation. Building community, overcoming isolation. Disregard hierarchy, give and receive support, celebrate success and analyze failure. Overcoming isolation by making conscious and dedicated efforts to forge partnerships with each other to give and receive support, disregarding the notions of hierarchy and learn to work together, celebrating success and analyzing failure collectively to gain insights, steps to community engagement, determine goals, plan whom to engage, strategize engagement, prioritize activities, implementation process, monitor progress.
it is important to engage the community for a holistic learning experience to help children develop in qualities of heart, head, and hands, with, which will make them self-reliant individuals and fine human beings, socially and culturally aware, compassionate, and kind, and global citizens. Service learning. In service learning, running vocational centers, running mobile computer van and laboratories, libraries, organizing intergenerational projects, collaborating with local police to understand laws, participating in water conservation project, participating in self-defense workshop, participating in the literary literacy program, introducing road safety drives along with the traffic police, encouraging learners to contribute to local communities need, organizing blood donation camp, adopting a village slum and working for its overall unkept. This is related to service learning. Community engagement, collaborating with NGOs for disaster management and relief programs, connecting with embassies for educational exchange programs, creating a vision in partnership with all members of the school community and involving everyone actively in the shared vision, organizing camps for the underprivileged residing beside the school campus, involvement in programs, projects, and partnerships launched by the local leadership service clubs and NGOs, taking forward the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan in collaboration with the municipal corporation, teaming up with government schools to learn, teach, and collaborate. Training centers for the underprivileged, for example, Silai Kendra, computer learning, vocational programs, candle making classes, chocolate making, baking classes, etc. Uh, next activity is systematic reforms. Power the process in each other schools. School safety, safety majors, health safety committee, security, surveillance, safety on buses, identity cards, <clears throat> online security, login password, project security, search, protection data, safe and secure school spaces. Students spend a considerable amount of time in school, making it important for school authorities and teachers to ensure their safety inside the school and while commuting to and fro from the school. Portable water, clean and safe toilets, protection from natural and human-made disaster, safety from any kind of abuse. Safety is not an option, but a default priority. Safe physical environment. School must ensure system to monitor a safe and secure environment, a regular supervision of students at all places. Schools must ensure preparedness among staff and students in case of disasters and emergencies. Undertake regular drills, familiarize students with emergency protocols, safety and hygiene, physical hygiene, oral hygiene, personal hygiene, food safety hygiene, sanitation hygiene, and environmental hygiene. Emotional well-being. Plan, practice, prepare. Understanding of their own experiences, developing empathy, behavioral regulation, self-esteem and confidence, managing and expressing emotions, resilience and coping skills, conflict resolution. Foster, fostering personal social emotional well-being by framing policies and curriculum supportive of learner development and progress, training school staff to understand students' development stages, gearing school system towards capacity, building of students. School should provide a planned CPD program for all the staff to support the teaching of personal, social, and emotional skills. Identify children and the families who are in need additional support and adopt new ways of working with them. Review ongoing practices and update policies. Build community connections and collaborate 
with other agencies to provide staff training. Connect, be active, take notice, keep learning, and give. These are the five ways of well-being. Mental well-being. The school must ensure mental well-being of the students through conducting regular in-house activities, seeking support of outside experts, reviewing and monitoring progress of students, identification social and emotional challenges, creating procedures for students with difficulties, identifying and planning protocols for students experiencing behavioral, emotional or social difficulties, wellness and lifestyle. Encourage students and the teachers be honest and open with each other. Educate students about mental and uh, mental health and stigma associated to do it. Students help students to express themselves in a creative way. Build program that help to develop positive psychological skills such as resilience. Support teachers as well as students make sure they are looking after their own mental health. Create a positive school environment where students feel safe to speak about issues or problems they are facing. Work with other organizations to help provide interventions to pupils. Develop strategies to support students who are experiencing mental health problems. Adopt a whole school approach mental health. Provide mental health support to students as well as teachers. This is about wellness and lifestyle. Gender safety and sensitization. Equ access equal opportunities to attend and participate in educational programs and learning, formal and non-formal. Equality in the learning process, equality in learning outcomes, equality of job opportunities and earnings. Equity, fairness in the justice and distribution of benefits and responsibilities between students. Recognize the difference in the needs and the requirements of girls and boys and address them in a manner that rectifies the imbalance due to inequality. Cyber safety, using a secure web browser, being care careful while sharing personal information, being careful while making online friends, being careful of identifying theft, avoiding cyberbullying, being bullied, being careful while using social media. How to proceed with an activity? Meet, discuss, plan, execute, and evaluate. Suggestive methodology. Points to be noted. Hubs have been made for collective growth of all CBSC affiliated schools and are not to be taken or canvassed as a level of superiority or the power by the lead collaborator schools. Each member of the hub is important and all the members of the hub are equal. Participation of all the schools of the hub must be ensured. Regular interaction among the school hubs must be done. Each school must get opportunity to conduct the activities. It must be noted that the activities can be taken up even in the minimum of resources available. Maximum utilization of readily available resources should be done without posing any financial burden on any school. A uh, constituting a school hub committee, a committee to be formed in each school comprising principal and other teachers who can help in the activities of the hub. The principal can either nominate such teachers or also ask teachers to volunteer for the activities of the hub. Deciding self-improvement priority by each school. Deliberations at school level, self-improvement priorities, selections of the most important priority, decisions at hubs meetings, plan and execute activity, consensus of all the hubs members. Each school must identify and decide its priority for self-improvement and the areas of concern discussing in detail with all the teachers and SMCs. Accordingly, it can further put its requirement before the hub. At the hub level, the first meeting, lead collaborator school will call for the first meeting. It will inform each school to bring its own annual calendar and the list of the self-improvement priorities. The best practices of each school can also be shared in this meeting. Then the common time dates, whereas various activities related to the hub of the schools can be conducted 
can be identified. Annual hub uh, calendar will be prepared. Accordingly, the details of the annual calendar possible activities in the hub can be discussed and outlined taking care of the requirement of e-school. The hub calendar shall ideally contain list of activities. Along the calendar, the following can be shared through email. What is hoped to be achieved through the activity or the expected outcomes? List of persons responsible for the activities and timelines of the activity, how are the activities will be executed in the hub, rubrics for assessing the activity for whether the uh, expected outcomes have been achieved, likely challenges and possible solutions of those challenges. How many meetings? It is desirable that the hub meets once every month. The meeting can also be virtual through Skype, etc. If the schools of the hub are not located in the same city or are remotely located from each other, whereas joint activities are possible, such as teacher training, art exhibition, pedagogical planning, etc. There are number of meetings may accordingly be increased. The venue of joint meetings, activities, too, shall be jointly decided. Documentation, how and why. It is advisable to maintain brief minutes of all the meeting activities of the hub, as it will help in measuring the improvements in the hub schools. The progress in each area of the hub activity by e-school must be joint monitored and analyzed by the center hub. The hub should think of developing their set of rubrics and monitoring progress in each activity. The board may ask the list of the activities undertaken and the achievements, if any, by the schools at the time of registration of the school's candidates for board examination. At the time of school in, uh, inspection for extension or upgradation, Affirmation record will also be checked to a certain genuine efforts made by the schools for the self-improvement. Uh, that will be done uh, with the objective to facilitate reflection and help goals. Self-evaluation for the hub's guided thinking, not a recipe for success. Working together, emerge, evolve, embed, excel. These are the self-evaluation. We are going to see the self-evaluation. Uh, let us see what is there in the self-evaluation. Working together is there. Regular meetings as a network, documentation, hub guided by the plan that regularly reveal uh, leadership distributed across the hub. Then next is learning together, sharing experiences and practices during hub meetings, regular sharing and discussion of teaching practices and the curriculum transaction. School data is shared regularly by all the members. Then developing together, working together for building excellent practices, discussing and sharing ideas and practices. Next is common vision values, sharing experiences and ideas within the hub. Hub has a shared vision and a purpose. Teachers and principals benefit by being the part of the hub. Enable and empower regional and the area support for co-hubs. Hub is support, supported by its schools, has sufficient resource to function well. Results and achievements are recognized officially. This is all about HOL. I hope all of you have understood about HOL. Thank you. Thanks a lot. If you are new to my channel, Please like and subscribe and share among your friends. Keep updating yourself and keep watching such kind of videos in coming future. Thank you. Thank you.